Hello everybody! We are continuing on the theme of manifestation and today I'd like to get into a little more with you on the way I do manifestation when it comes to money. I mentioned the four aspects before in one of the early videos and um, that's how I get in touch with my inner being. Uh, we all have different parts to us and the four aspects con concept comes from studying up the subtle anatomy which is the energetic body that's that surrounds us, each of us, like we're these big giant bubbles that walk around. Now somewhere in our subtle energetic field uh, all the way up near the star chakra that we have are where the aspects are. Four aspects. Physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual aspects. These are the guys that help us get things done. Connect with stuff. So when I would like to manifest some actual money into my account or somehow into my physical experience. This is what I've used to do, to do it. I get into an easy, comfortable state. I center myself and I picture myself connecting with my aspects. Now, for me, the fun way to do this is to really lead myself through this um, sort of this magical road into a sacred, magical temple, if you will, that I have where these aspects reside. You know, you can do that too. You can get as imaginative as you want. I will lead you through a short meditation once I explain this. And then my physical aspect is really the one that I address this issue with. Um, I ask for whatever I need at the time and I get the help of the other aspects as well. Ask them to help the physical to bring this forth. And um, when I do this, I really picture myself already in that experience. Like, for example, checking my bank statement or bank account and seeing the money there already, or picture myself receiving money somehow, like either PayPal, Venmo, whatever means, or getting a check, or somebody just um, suddenly commissioning me for something. This has happened quite a few times for me whenever I've really, really put it out there and almost immediately or within the day or within that the few days I've gotten commissions. <laughs> which pretty much sum up to the amount that I've asked for. So manifestation can come in different ways, uh, either like bang, you see this amount in your account or on a check or whatever, or you can be given something to do, which of course you enjoy doing, in exchange for that amount that you've asked for. Okay, so let's get a little comfortable. Close your eyes, take some deep breaths, you can use the five and seven breath which is inhaling five counts, exhale to the count of seven, repeat this a few times. Now imagine yourself walking through this beautiful forest. 
winding road through the forest, this path, welcoming, inviting, You're walking along in a very joyful state. Notice if you hear any sounds, see any particular creatures, flowers, leaves, trees. Bring in as much detail as you can. While walking around on your path, you notice that you're getting close to a clearing. Go ahead and explore. On the other side of this clearing, you see this incredible temple. This is your temple. Go ahead and imagine it. Construct it in the way that only you can. As you get close to the door, you get this sense that the temple wants you to enter it. Open the door and get in. Notice what you see as you enter. Wow, this beautiful setting. And then you notice there are four beings sitting there as though waiting for you. Go ahead and greet them and join them. These are your four aspects. The physical, the emotional, psychological, and spiritual. They've always been with you. They want to hear what you have to say. Talking to your physical aspect, you can ask it to do whatever you want. Ask it to manifest money for you in whichever form. Get specific and then be grateful. The role of the others are to make this request easier, to get along with the physical aspect and to help it in any way they can. Thank them all for their willingness. The emotional aspect is to stay balanced so you can be balanced. The psychological aspect is to get along with everybody and let the others be more on the forefront. And the spiritual aspect, well, she sees the overall operation.
Really thank your physical aspect as though you've already received what you want. Now you can thank them, tell them you will visit again soon, and leave your temple. Now make your way back through the path to the forest and back to where you started. Take a deep breath and gently open your eyes. Now remember that you can get as chatty with your aspects as you choose. This is a rather short version of this exercise so that you get the sense of how I'm doing this. This is just another way of getting in touch with that inner self and with that imagination and really getting into the feelings of what you want. Remember, Gotta feel the feels. Everything is gonna have to be about how you feel and really, really seeing it. Now, don't get unrealistic and picture yourself with like a lottery or, you know, like some unreasonable amount of money when it is not in the realm for you. You know what I mean? It's not to say you won't be able to manifest it, but start out smaller, you know, just um, something that is in your control and in your possibilities, the realm of your possibilities for the near future so that you can get little wins. All right, let us know how this is going for you. Again, like I said, remember the manifestation doesn't, always come directly like at least the, the kind that I'm doing doesn't come necessarily like bang you open your bank account and there it is ten thousand dollars it, it has been more through getting immediate um, assignments and commissions and um, jobs that has brought that about but it's been pretty much immediate in that sense. Okay, so good luck. And remember, this is supposed to be fun. So don't shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> See you in the next ones.